Most people know they should practice SQL, but when you sit down in front of your SQL editor, it's easy to get stuck. What data should you use? What kind of questions should you ask? And how do you know if you're getting better? In this video, I'll show you my complete SQL practice system step by step. The first step in my practice system is choosing a data set. It doesn't have to be complicated. You can get a CSV from Kaggle, export some of your own data, or use one of the sample databases that come with your database system. For today's example, I'll use a simple data set from Kaggle called Dirty Cafe Sales. I've already imported this data into my database, and I have other videos to show you how to do this. We have all of our data from the Kaggle data set in our database, ready for practice and analysis. Now, before you write any SQL, decide on a question you want to answer with the data. It's quite common to open your SQL editor and just stare at the screen. A clear question gives you a focus. I've done this with my data analysis work in the past. It's simple to say, I'm going to analyze this data and see what I find, but it's better to start with a specific question. For this video, let's ask which product has had the most sales. Now, let's solve it step by step. First, identify what tables you need. In this example, we have only one table as we imported a single CSV file. But if you have more tables, either from multiple CSV files or in your own database, you'll need to work out which tables you need. Then, think through the logic in plain English. In this example, to find the products with the most sales, we need to find a list of products and count the number of sales. Let's start small. I'll start with a simple select star query to see what is in the table. I run this and see the data here. We have a list of transactions for this cafe, including dates, products, and prices. Now we want to get the products and the count of transactions for each product. To do this, we need to select the item and then use the count function. We run this, but we get an error about aggregate function and columns. We can fix this by adding our item name in a group by clause. We run this and see our results here. It shows the products and the number of sales they have had. We can look through the results and try and work out which product has the highest count. Or we could make it easier and sort the results. Let's do that now. We can add an order by clause to the query. We run this and see our results, which show the products with the highest number of sales. In this example, it's the juice product. And that's our answer. If you're enjoying this walkthrough and want to take your SQL further, check out my SQL Simplified course. It takes you from the blank page all the way to writing confident SQL with step-by-step -step explanations and plenty of practice. The link is in the description. The fourth step is to refactor. When you're practicing, once you've got the right answer, you can look at making your query better. You can do this by making it more readable or improving the formatting. In this query, we can improve it by adding a column alias to the count column to describe it better. Something like num underscore sales is good. We can also improve the formatting a bit, such as spacing, the case of keywords, or indenting. These could come down to your personal preferences, but there may be things you can do. The query is now cleaner, easier to read, and easier for others to understand. The last step is to repeat. Don't stop after one question. Write another one. For example, what is the product with the lowest price? Which days of the week get the most sales or the highest revenue? What is the total revenue made all time? Every time you repeat this cycle of writing a question, solving it, and refactoring it, you're building your SQL skills a bit at a time. So to recap, first you select a data set, then you write a question, then you solve it step by step, then you improve your query, then you can repeat it with another question. And this is how you get better with SQL by practicing. If you want to build your confidence with SQL queries, watch this video next where I explain exactly how to do that. Thanks for watching.